Welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today we are going to be talking about one of the most exciting updates that is coming to Ark Survival Ascended in October. Now as you guys can see I have a little friend at the start of this video. This is the Indoraptor and the reason I thought I'd have the Indoraptor to start the video is because of the intelligence of this creature and what it's like in Jurassic World and I thought it just is a good theme for what today's video is about. Today we are going to be talking about the new AI update which is well overhaul that is coming to Ark Survival Ascended for the new game. I am so excited about it and I'm really really looking forward to reading what you guys think in the comment section down below. So we're so close now guys, we're only a couple of days, but if you do enjoy today's video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let's get in with the video. Now I think I said a couple of days, I didn't mean a couple of days, I meant to say we're only a month away now until the launch of Survival Ascended, and I am so excited about all the features that are to come, and we still don't even know the full amount. We're, we're hearing little bits of information every single day here and there saying, you know, we're going to be getting this, we're going to be getting that, and also hearing the little bit of information from Wildcard about when we're going to be seeing the gameplay trailer and release date. But one of the most exciting features that isn't talked about, I don't think enough, is the fact that you, if you guys have been playing Ark Survivor Evolve for a long while, you will know that a lot of the dinosaurs in this game have a very, very sort of stupid, like, you know, AI system. The way that, like, when they're being attacked, they just start running into rocks and they get locked onto things. And I'm sure many of you guys will say in the past that it's helped you get a tame in the past, you know, where like one of my first ever tames when I was like, when the first, the game first came out in early access was that how me and my friends only had like a couple of like, kept making narco arrows and like, you know, trank darts and stuff. And we're well, not even trank darts, literally just arrows. And we, in so we, and we ended up just constantly spraying them into a spino that got stuck like uh look how cool that is uh that got stuck on like a rock or something you know and one of the most exciting updates that wild kind of told us is dynamic navigation mesh and creature pathfinding overhaul in brackets ai pathfinding so one of the coolest new additions that Wildcard said was going to be coming to Ark 2 is the fact that in the game you will be able to, the dinosaurs will be able to smell you. Dinosaurs will be able to hunt you down just like how they do in the films. Now this won't be the full complete update like it's going to be for Ark 2 that is going to be completely separate to that release. But the coolest thing about this is the fact that the dinosaurs will actually have some sense of like actually being kind of smarter in the game now. They're going to have AI path, uh, uh, AI pathfinding overhaul, which means they're not just going to do the most silly things like, you know, let's say there's, there's like, like literally just what happened there. Like what happened straight on the screen there. We saw a Pteranodon land on the ground and then decide, you know what, maybe it's because there's an in, in, Indoraptor right here, but, um, and then just bounce straight back up. And uh, let's see if it happens again. Will, will it land this time? Will it land this time? Okay, no, it's not decided to land this time, but it's those types of things that can happen. And it will be something very similar to what I'm about to do now. I'm running away from something, my wild dino is running away from something and it will just end up doing this constantly. Just non-stop, non-stop, and it's always very, very frustrating. Can I don't know if this Indoraptor can climb or not. This is the one of the, is, this, is there a Pego chasing us? I don't think you want this fight with the Indoraptor. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be one of the biggest to come updates for Ark Survival Ascended. I am so looking forward to it. Even that, that, that thing there where like, I just got like caught on that rock and I was like stuck in the weirdest positions. Those are the littlest things. They're not even 
It's not even like the biggest update. This is one point of the changes coming to the game. Oh, hello, Giga. <laughs> Luckily, I'm in creative mode. Never going to be able to kill us, especially even with the movement of this Indoraptor. Um, but what I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below is what you would like to see with this new AI pathfinding overhaul. What would you like dinos to do better in the game? What do you think just overall will make the game better in, you know, and, and how the dinosaurs move around the map and how cool they are? I mean, this Indoraptor mod is unbelievable. I mean, look how realistic this is like i can't wait as i made a video the other day saying i can't wait um i did like a little bit of a review on them and i said i can't wait for you know console players you know modding being one of the biggest things coming into the game to get their hands on things like this and be able to enjoy it whenever they like i just think it's going to be so so great um and that trike was not looking excited there um so yeah, that's probably like one of the biggest and most exciting factors of what I'm looking forward to the game is how we're going to be playing a next generation version that isn't just going to be full of these same bugs and same glitches that we've all experienced over the years. Now, some of the other stuff just to go alongside it is the fact that we now have a photo mode. We have NVIDIA DLSS. Um, we have Dino slash baby management quality of life, which is going to be easier to like raise your babies and stuff. Um, wild babies that are going to be obviously in the wild. Um, another thing that's going to kind of link towards this, you know, Dino AI overhaul is also snap point improvements, new snaps, logic improvements and stuff. This is going to cause like, you know, they get one that's going to be better, better for people who love to build. Look at those Indo, in, <laughs> Indominus Rexes over there. Um, one is obviously to improve building, but also just the way that creatures can snap into buildings. In the past, people being able to fall through through maps and all different types of stuff like that it's just going to be making that sort of quality of life of the game that much better which is what i'm looking forward to oh there's indoraptors fighting over there as well we're not getting involved in that <laughs> um so yeah and another other bits is like character uh, creation and customization improvements something i've said that's needed to be coming to the game for a long time i've talked about that with many of my friends saying like how i know in arc 2 there's going to be crazy new customization options but in arc 1 it's just always been like you know everyone's pretty much always the same i know you can make your character look really cool and funny over the years and stuff but it needs those updates it needs those changes to make your character feel a little bit more real to you and that's kind of what i like about it um and then overall as to finish off obviously the cross-platform modding is going to be amazing all of these features is something that i can't wait for us to all experience in the new game as i said studio wildcard have this deadline to hit the release for october 31st i think that we will get the game earlier than that and like i know it's always a little bit of a rare occasion when we get something earlier in arc but because the official servers are closing on september 30th for arc survival evolved i feel like wildcard are not going to want to miss out on their play account too much you know not too much like the fact that once that once that like play account drops and no one can play official anymore people are going to go and play other games and of course they're going to come back to survival ascended but they're going to want to keep that active player base happy and enjoying the game so we have a lot to look forward to guys to come with the game over the next couple of weeks in the fact of hearing about a release date i've said to a lot of you guys in the in the community as well i think the release date may come with the gameplay trailer i don't think that trailer will drop until october i think they'll, they, they, they've already mentioned to us they're going to be dropping it very very close to launch so i reckon they'll be close they'll, they'll, they'll be dropping it sort of like early to uh, mid october uh, which gives them like a two week release window to get the game out towards the nearer the end of october so prepare you yourself guys for hopefully one of the most exciting journeys we've had yet on arc in in the arc community you know like i was about to say in arc but obviously it's going to be a whole massive overhaul things we've never seen before and again as i said console players to be able to get your hands on things that i like i'm riding right now to enhance your gameplay experience anyway guys thank you very much for watching Looking forward to reading through the comment section on this one. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next ARC News video very soon. See you guys then.